Hello everybody and I am Sasuka and welcome back to my channel. Well, in today's video, I'm going to share to you how to find balance in your life. Ito ay binase ko lang din sa mga readings ko sa different articles, books, and websites. And natulungan ako on how to balance my life. So I want to share it with you. Baka sakali makatulong din sa inyo. Alright? So... At the end of this video, you're going to know different challenges you face while balancing life. Also, tips to help you maintain the balance in your life. Alright, so as we know that balancing life can be challenging and the challenges you face may vary on your life stage and circumstances. So, bago tayo pupunta sa tips on how to balance life, pag-usapan muna natin or discuss muna natin yung mga challenges, yung mga saliranin na, na nasasalamuhan natin while we are trying to balance our life. Alright? Well, first we have time management. So, napaka totoo ito. It's so true na while we are trying to balance our life, time management could be so challenging. Alright? Well, it can be difficult to manage your time effectively if you have a lot of responsibilities and commitments. Next, we have conflicting priorities. All right. Well, you may find yourself struggling to balance competing priorities such as work and family obligations. So, yun yung pangalawang challenge na namimit natin while we are trying to balance our life. And next, we have number three. Lack of support. Alright? Well, you may feel like you don't have enough support from your employer, family, or friends to help you balance your life. So, kadalasan, ganun yung napipil natin. And of course, number four, stress. Siyempre, lahat tayo, pag nagtatry tayo, i-balance yung life natin, eh, nasa stress tayo. So, balancing your life can be stressful and stress can make it even harder to manage your time and priorities. And number five, lack of self-care. I think guilty tayo lahat dito. Di ba minsan, nakakalimutan natin yung self natin. Kasi nga, gusto natin gawin to. Tapos, kailangan natin gawin ang isang bagay na to. And we often end up with lack of self-care. So, it's important to take care of yourself, but it can be hard to find time for self-care when you are busy with other things. Alright, so to sum up, these are the challenges that you may have while you are trying to balance your life. So first, we have conflicting priorities, time management, lack of support, stress, and lack of self-care. So first, itatanong nyo, paano natin ito ma-overcome? So are you also summarize different tips on how to maintain balance in our life. Paano natin ma-overcome to? Ito din ay binase ko din sa mga readings ko sa articles, especially sa websites na verywellmind.com. And katulad na sinabi ko kanina, ano, oh, natulungan ako on how to maintain balance in my life. So I want to share it with you kasi baka matulungan yun kayo. So let's dive in with the tips number one. So, set priorities. Ayan. So, napaka-importante yung alam natin kung ano yung priorities natin in life. And, you know, identify what's most important to you and focus your time and energy on those things. So, that's about setting priorities. And number two, create a schedule. So, kung gusto ninyo magkaroon ng planner, why not? Isulatin niyo yung mga schedule ninyo much better. So, you have to make a schedule that includes time for work, family, friends, and self-care. Alright? The next, learn to say no. Ito talang pinaka-importante. I think, kadalasan sa atin, hindi natin ito nagagawa. Kasi nga, minsan nahihiya tayo. So, we keep on saying yes, kahit hindi naman dapat. Kasi we need also the time for ourselves or may iba tayong gagawin. So, learn to say no. So, don't be afraid to say no to things about aren't your priority or that you don't have time for. So, syempre, 
ano, may schedule na kayo, ginawa niyo na yung planner niyo, naka-set na yung priority niyo. Kung sa tingin niyo yung emergencies or may nagbiyaya sa inyo na hindi naman na sa priority niyo, you have to say no. Okay? And I mean, next is ask for help. So, dapat babaan din natin yung pride natin. So, if you think you need help, you you can do so. Huwag nang mahiya. Kasi, of course, it's also important to ask help from our employer, family, or friends. And you can also reach out sa mga may kaalaman. Especially when you think you need it. Alright, next is, of course, this is the most important. Take care of yourself. Kadalasan kasi nawalan tayo ng time for ourselves. Parang napapadwayan natin just because of we have a lot of things to do. Busy tayo sa work. Busy tayo sa mga activities natin. And wala na tayong time sa sarili natin. Well, you have to make sure to take care of yourself by getting enough sleep, eating well, and exercising regularly. So sa pag-exercise naman, it doesn't need to be like bongga talaga, like you need to go to the gym. You don't have to do that. But kung okay naman sa time ninyo, kaya naman sa budget, why not? But by simply walking, by simply jogging, or just simply stretching, so that's already a good exercise. Alright, so those are the things that you can do to balance your life or to maintain balance in your life. So let's take the summary of the tips that we have for today. So first we have set priorities. Create a schedule. Learning to say no. Ask for help. And last but not the least, take care of yourself. Alright, so thank you so much and I hope these tips help you find balance in your life. See you next. Again, this is Sasuka, not an expert, but just want to share.